Today, I'm going to show you how to add this Hikvision color view to this MCRAS NVR. This camera costs almost twice the price of most IP cameras, and that's because of the LEDs that you saw earlier in the front. There's really no trick to having good image quality. The more light you have, the better your image quality is going to be. So that's why these cameras have LEDs mounted right on the camera themselves. Mounting the camera is relatively easy. All you have to do is grab this collar and twist it. I know when you first get it, it seems impossible to get out, but trust me, all you have to do is start twisting it and it will come off. Once it's off, then you will see the three mounting holes that you can use to mount onto the wall or to the ceiling. In the package, the anchors and screws are provided, but there's absolutely no Cat5 cables. That you have to buy. Now, go ahead and plug in the cameras to the back of the NVR. Also, plug in your laptop to the back of the NVR. You need to install this tool. It's called SADP. Once installed, go ahead and hit refresh. This tool is used to find all of Hikvision's cameras. It will find any cameras on your network. Most likely, the cameras will be on some funky IP address. In this instance, you can see the cameras are on 10.1.1.129 through whatever. Most likely, your computer or laptop is not on the same IP range. Let's verify it real quick, okay? On your keyboard, using a Windows machine, hold down Windows, R, R as in running. Type in CMD, type in IP config. I'm plugged in via Ethernet, of course, and this is the IP address of my laptop, 192.168.1.227. And my gateway is totally different as well. So on the bottom right-hand corner, go to the Internet icon, click on Open Network and Internet Settings, click on Change Adapter. I have a lot of networking connections, but yours will be much simpler than this. But I know for sure this is the one. Right click, go down to properties. Look at TCP, double click on it. Click on use the following IP address. You'll need to change it to something that's within the Hikvision cameras. So the Hikvision cameras were on 129. I'm going to change mine to 128 or 127 to be sure. I want to be on some number that's on the same range as the Hikvision cameras, but not the same as one of the cameras, of course, or else they'll be conflicting with each other. Once I change the IP address of my laptop, then I click on OK. Go back out and click OK again. Now that your laptop is on the same network as the Hikvision cameras, go ahead and check the box here. On the other side, check the box, enable DHCP and enter the admin password. If for whatever reason this SADP tool does not work, go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. It has to be Internet Explorer or Edge, I think. It cannot be Chrome or Firefox. With your Internet Explorer or Edge browser open, go ahead and type in HTTP colon slash 10.1.1.129. If this is your first time using the camera, it will ask you for your password. Enter in whatever you want, and then it will ask you to confirm the password again. So confirm it by typing the password again, then click on OK. Go into the network configuration somewhere, and then enable DHCP there. Believe it or not, that's what I had to do at first, because this SADP tool did not work the first time. But of course, on the second try, this actually opens up, and I can actually control this thing right here. It's important that you checkbox the Enable DHCP. The NVR will then assign the Hikvision camera an IP address, an IP address range that's compatible with the NVR. Otherwise, the NVR will not be able to talk to this Hikvision camera at all. So I'm going to open the uh, 129 camera. The username is admin. The password is uh, whatever I want. 
I made the password already. Go into configuration tab. Click on security, change everything from digest to basic. Click on OK if it asks you, and then click on save to save everything. Next, go to network, go down to advanced settings, go to integration protocol, enable Hikvision CGI, change to basic again, click OK, enable Onviv, add an username. Username, I'm going to change it as admin again. Password will be the same password. I try to make everything the same password. I know that's a big security no-no, but for simplicity, it's okay. Change the level to administrator and click on OK. Click on save by scrolling down. And that's basically it. Now your NVR should be able to talk to this Hikvision camera. Today we are at a client's house. His house is really nice. It's time to set up the NVR to talk to the Hikvision cameras. You can use the TV that's connected to the NVR, but for myself, I'm using the Edge browser. Connect directly to the NVR via its IP address on the network. Log in as usual. Click on Management and then click on Camera. Manually add in. The manufacturer will be Onviv. Change the IP address to the IP address that you got for the uh, camera. By the way, I should be honest with you, originally the IP address of the Hikvision cameras started with 192 or something like that. But following my process, as I mentioned earlier, you should be able to do DHCP and then when you do DHCP, the NVR will assign the proper IP address for the cameras that's compatible with the NVR. And that IP address would be 10.1.1. something something. Now, let's continue with our video. The password will be whatever password that you assign the cameras when you were setting it up and then click on save. When you see green light, that means it's good. When you see red light, that means it's bad, it's not working. I don't know why the uh, NVR created duplicates, but you can go ahead and safely remove some of the duplicates. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful on how to add Hikvision cameras to your Amcrest NVR. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.